the many inmates don't get a lot of mail, right? And so what I would see the inmates doing is that they would they would go through, they would hang on to everything, right? Anything that was written to them. And so I can, so for your volunteers, you can bet that they are re-looking at what is written to them multiple times, right? And so if you're sending them a challenge, they're looking at it, they're reading it, at least reading it multiple times. I kept some of my letters for years. They just kept them. They were kind of like a source of comfort for me, right? Um, because I, in, every day we're interacting with other inmates, right? Some of those inmates don't have your best need in mind, right? I mean, so you're um, you're kind of living you're living on that kind of you are living in basically a very unhealthy environment, and so when you get something positive that comes towards you, um, you latch on to that. And that's why it's up to us now, at this point in my life, and our volunteers, and, and for you as Crossroads, to <clears throat> try to breathe into the inmate to say, no, you are part of our community. We care for you, right? Never touching the so you can never justify what brought them to prison, right? Our goal is to say, no, you are a man, right? And this is how we walk as men, right? And to help them move them from here to there. But at the same time, the benefit of doing that is they too are helping you move from here to there. Because once we, you and I, realize that we too are broken people, right? And sitting in front of me is a broken man, right? And we're really no different, right? That we're two broken people trying to f figure out life. How do we behave? How do we do the next right thing, right? How do we grow the kingdom where we're at in life? together.